Oops. I'm all flipping it, flipping it, flipping it. Welcome to the video! Hey, welcome to the video! Welcome! What, what are we doing, another one? Yeah. What are we doing? BB-8! We're Today building BB-8! It's a new Lego kit! Yeah, we have Lego kit 75187. It is, what, how many pieces? 1,106 pieces. Oh boy. So, this is a brand new kit that I got for my birthday, and this is really cool. Um, this is a brand new set for The Force Awakens, and you can tell because of Ray up here, that's the new Force Awakens logo right there. This does come with a BB-8 minifig. And if you watched any other channel on the channel, uh, video, video, <laughs> on, the video channel. on this channel, <laughs> um, I already had a BB-8 minifig. He got the last BB-8 minifig, so guess who's getting this BB-8 minifig? Him. So, I don't know why, but we're like, like inundated with BB-8 minifigs. Yeah. But that's okay. Yes, sir. Um, stop talking because that means you have Show them that. I got. He was at the Fall Harvest Festival down the road, and he got this weird little eyeball thingy thing that rolls out of your hand. It's just weird. We're all going to get ready for Halloween and all that good stuff. That's right, because it's I'm fall excited. time. It's so exciting. But now exciting. it's time to build the Lego kit. And this thing, we've estimated that this thing is going to be about maybe 12, 13 inches high, just based on what we've measured the dots, because... That's a standard measurement in Lego. You can kind of measure the dots and do little nibs and kind of figure out how tall this thing is. Anyways, we have to have an obnoxiously large, overly sized cutting device to cut tape because that's the rules on unboxing. So we did that. We got it open. We'll get rid of the knife. We'll put it over there. Oh, boy. Oh, before we open up, what's your prediction? I'm going to say seven bags in here. I'm just going to do one up. Eight. He'll say eight. Hey, how many bags do you think it's going to be? Five. Five. So I say seven. He says eight. He says five. What do you say? Good. I'm all over that. So here we go. Oh, and by the way, if you've watched our videos in the past, we're going to do time lapse when we go into the build. So it'll be a lot of be, fun. This is going to be a long build. There is a lot of orange in this. That's going to be well, a lot of fun. I think the Millennium Falcon somewhere over there it's like a thousand three hundred pieces yeah we built the millennium falcon if you haven't seen the build find the video in the star wars playlist six six wait a minute hold on i've seen a seven on a bag somewhere you sure there's a, a two there's a one here's a three six 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 we're all wrong you were right <laughs> oh boy <laughs> so and we got our eating uh snacks right here and we got our building juice i've got my bb-8 right here he's got his orange for bb-8 and he's uh, got an a and w. i'm the weird one out here <laughs> so um where's the book there's the, the book open it up and let's see how many pages the book is. all right um, if you've never built lego before you've got to get these i always say it in our videos um they're just these little segmented lunch trays or snack trays dinner trays whatever you want to call them get them at the dollar store they make building Lego very easy because you can keep all the bricks in place without them falling on the off the table onto the floor. Here's a sticker. Oh yeah, this has got a really cool stand on it, by the way. Um, where's the box? The box? Uh right here. Here, let me see the box real fast. So let me go around here real fast. So this is what it looks like up close. There's that kit 75187. Um, this is articulated, so it does have articulation on the head. You can see that right here. And it does have articulation in the panel where the thumb light comes out. The little, you know what I'm talking about. You've seen the movie. <laughs> and this thing is what I'm really excited about because it has this really customized stand where you have a big BB-8 and a small BB-8 and kind of a description of BB-8. So this is going to be really cool. So I just wanted to kind of show you the box up close. Anyways, back to the build. Here we go. We have a total Here, of... Put this on your head. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> All right. We have a total of 159 pages. 159 pages. All right. Oh, so, boy. Let's see. What does this say? This is the sticker that's going to go on it. Um, BB-8. Uh, it's a BB-8 unit astromech droid. Uh, the affiliation is the resistance. Its primary function is navigation, repair, and uh, its height is 0.67 meters. 
and that's I guess to scale and uh, its equipment is a holographic projector, a welding torch, and also an arc welder. So that's what we've got in BB-8. So if you've never looked up BB-8, now you know more about BB-8. So anyways, let's open up the bags and let's get to the build. I'm ready. Alrighty. So we're, he's going to open up one. We're going to open up number two. I'm that one. You're that? All right. So. And you open up over there in yours. And we'll see you at the end of the build. This is going to be crazy. insane i'm telling you what maybe it took like two hours uh yeah. two three hours i'd say that. close to three hours um it was just shy of the millennium falcon build uh that we did you see the video haven't you if not you got to find the video here in this channel on the star wars playlist um it's a fantastic build but this one is my favorite so far yeah. um not because it's bb8 bb8's cool in and of itself because BB-8 doesn't have a gender, I'm gonna call it it. Um, but this one was cool because what you see here on the surface is mm -hmm. is is pretty appealing. nice it's and it's interesting. It's appealing. But what's inside, dude? That's where this thing is amazing. My favorite part of this build was the internals because this is a fully articulated. Granted, it was tedious. It was cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the the inside of this build arguably probably took the majority of the time because it's so complex yeah, because not, not not the build the inside of it yeah the inside of bb8 and we're going to show you that in a second um let's walk through a couple of things here so you've got uh it is a ball you can pull it off the stand um and you can see it's it's fully decorated completely all the way around right here is a bb8 minifig so if you have a BB-8 minifig, um, you can kind of compare sizes. But if you're interested in actual sizes, this thing is approximately, let's see here, uh, to the antenna from the base is about 10 inches from all the way, base all the way up to here. And that's including the, the, the showcase stand because the showcase stand comes with it. It's all Lego, so you have to mm -hmm. put the stand together. Um, this is my favorite part of the, the, the visuals because one sticker one sticker <laughs> the entire build had one sticker we still had to put it on and yeah. you know how i feel about putting stickers on i i hate i'd them. rather have pay a couple extra dollars for the kit um than have to put a sticker on i'm just i i'm always afraid that i'm going to put a sticker on and it's not going to go on right and i try to get it off and fix it and it's going to rip, rip. And yeah so i i get very nervous when i go put stickers on i put this one on um it's a description of bb8 and yeah, take it off yeah. <laughs> yeah show them so that they can see so it's pretty cool talks about all of the the uh peripherals and and pertinence to bb8 which is really really cool um now 
this one, as I mentioned, is fully articulated. So when you build it, um, you kind of build a center square. You build like a core. A core, yeah. It's kind of like you build the bottom piece first, and then you, you attach some uh, beam structures. I don't yeah. know what these elements are called, but they're 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 not like standard brick. They're the bricks with the holes in them, and you get the locking pins, the, the Lego locking pins, um, and that builds the center core. And then you go through and you build the external panel. So each one of these is kind of like an extra uh, a build. This panel's a build. This panel's a build. This panel's a build. The back panel's a build. Uh, and then you build the top panel, and then you put the head on. So that's kind of the way you do it. Um, but what we liked about it is the articulation. So I'm just going to show you this. He'll show you one side. I'll show you. Yeah. Then we're going to talk about what we like and what we didn't like. Because there's some things about this we didn't yeah. like. Um, so this side over here i'll just rotate it around so you can see this side over here on would be if you're looking at it on the video is probably your left side uh depending on how youtube puts this thing up yeah there. um this side if you turn it bb8's head turns which now, is really not cool only now does it turn we have a rubber band in there and it's kind of like a little axle thing where it actually makes it bobble here and there yeah so kind of like the actual head yeah so BB just like bb8 does in the movie when he stops or he's looking around he's got that bobble and wobble to his head well that that happens now how that works is on this side and on this side it looks like uh, a ball hitch to when you're towing things with a vehicle and it then there's a like that. yeah and then there's a center core um that's right underneath bb8's head and that rubber band that he was talking about it it wraps Wrap around, around. Yeah, it wraps around those two balls and that center piece and that gives you that wobble when when BB-8's head moves and it is fully 360 degrees articulation and you can just keep spinning and spinning and it doesn't have like a lock right now the the wobble only goes front and back so there's a kind of a channel underneath BB-8's head that wobbles back and forth like oh, oops oh, not just not your antenna's bent i'll straighten it out for you <laughs> that's a really bad imitation of ray i know here that. so so simply BB-8's head so it's got this this connection point and then bb8's head goes into that and, and you can the see wobble spot that 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 um kind of a counterbalance in there that the rubber band is wrapped around i don't know if you can see the, the yellow it's kind of hard to get on camera but there is a yellow rubber thin band. rubber band that's wrapped around that and that's what gives bb8's head a wobble so you can see it's very easy to take apart too believe you me we've taken this thing apart a couple times and yeah bb8's antenna back so yeah this one gives you the head wobble and it's really cool um that one over there i think this is the fa mo most favorite scene of bba on the force awakens so it would turn it like this let me bring the camera a little bit closer oh hey, yeah so you can see the flame well you didn't get it all oh, the way out there we go. so you get bb8's flame right there his little in imitation of a thumbs up you no know, and finn told him good job and <laughs> BB-8 did the same thing. That's goofy. Anyway, um, so that was cool. Now, what we didn't like about this, because yeah. th the internals of this are very complex, complex. Um, and they spent a lot of time at LEGO developing the internals to where when you turn this, the the panel opens up and the, the arm comes out with a little flame on the end of it. Or this, you know, yeah. moves the head. But when you pull this back in, the door doesn't shut. You have so, to manually close that. And or, you can manually open it up. So I can do that or I can do that. So, so does it lock? Just me, but you spend all that time designing the inside to come out. There could have been some sort of a mechanism to grab the door mm -hmm. or connect it to the door. So when you pulled the, the flame back in, the door would shut. Just a little yeah. suggestion, Lego, if you're watching this and you want to make a new one, that would be an improvement, at least to me. Now, the other part, now we modified this. Yeah. Mo it, well, I should say we thought about it. He did a lot of the mod work. Um, mm -hmm. So we're going to spin this around and show you what we did because typically this panel right here it's nothing. It's just, is just a panel. It's it's held on. Show them the nibs that hold on uh, the door, the little panel to it. So, so you basically build the panel. And you connect it to the outside structure with these little nibs. And there's like a nib. There's like maybe a 12 or 13 yeah. of them, 14 of them around this whole uh, panel. And so we were looking at all of the work we did for the inside. And we wanted to be able to look at it. Or if somebody says, hey, how does that work? We wanted to be able to easily 
take off that panel and show you. So we've modified this back panel to easily come off. And uh, so I'll let him walk you through what he did because it's I'm happy with how it is yeah. now versus the way that the kit it is was. actually designed. So as simple as it is, you can take it off just like that. So you, you can, can see, see the insides. Now, what's interesting about this, I'm going to bring the camera just a little bit closer. Excuse the wobble, I know. <laughs> so if I get this here and bring it over here, so you can see all of the gear structures on the inside. That it, It's pretty complex. It's impressive in my opinion because there's a lot of work that goes into that inside structure to open up just that armature on the inside and there's those beams i was talking about so th these beams are really yeah, the, the, like the heart of the structure, the structure of of bb8 and so we may we modified this and i'll let him talk about what he did to modify well, with the lego pieces back up the camera just a little bit so you can see it all right so so on here there is a flat what it's this, a one by eight or two yeah, by eight yeah two by eight that goes right here and it wasn't really connected to anything but these tan pieces. So I took them off. Took that whole piece off. This is the piece that... Yeah, this is the piece. This is the piece from the kit that would sit here. We disassembled it, pulled these out, and... And I put these flat So pieces. like a two by two flat smooth piece. Yeah, so we don't have these little nibs popping up. And underneath here, on each side, it's a two by two. It's square. a two by two, yeah, two by two square. So we can keep these in place in same elevation. Um, this blue piece um, is on part of the kit. Now, you'll when you build your own, you're going to notice that there is a blue side and a yellow side. The blue side is the back side, the way that they're yeah, really calling color it. color coding. Yeah, color coded. So when you're building it, you kind of know where things are at. So the back side is blue. The front side over here with BB-8 is yellow. is all yellow I'm so all of sure. this is yellow yeah you, yeah, you see can see kind yellow. of yellow in there that's that's the color coding in this so spin this back around here and so this piece i think was it from the bottom i think e F something from the bottom no this was, was it was on top of this okay so yeah it was on top of so, the gray piece right here yeah, so kind of like like kind of like that so that's how it was in here so sitting in before it was taken out this is what it looked like in this area so we took this all the way out we opened this space up with some smooth bricks uh the the two by two smooth top bricks uh we didn't do anything to the bottom we were trying to but then it kind of failed so we just kind of left this alone but we modified this and took out all these little so, nibs in yeah, all each... of these these empty holes this one and this one we left but we removed all of these and all of these and all of these now the reason why we did that is it was holding the panel way too tight because so, we we wanted to see the inside the insides you know it's magnificent on how it works but this on the other hand we added two like what a, it's a one, one by, by four. four and at the bottom top so we can easily slide into these little yeah, one by spots. A one by four brick fits snugly into those areas so we can easily oh okay we can easily put it in it's on the bottom Oh, is the bottom? Oh, yeah, the, the, the bottom stand one? gets in the way sometimes. Okay, there but we go. Yeah, the stand here. Here we go. Flip it up like that. There we go. So, the, oh, yeah. So, so we just now we can slide it in, and these. So two those little, are more the one by fours are guides to fit into those sockets, and then we left two little blue nibs so to kind of grab the top. To grab the top, so it doesn't kind of like flop open a little bit. So that's not part of the ne uh, the regular build. It's not part of the instructions, yeah, but this we wanted to show here. you. Yeah, we wanted to show you because the inside of this this BB-8 unit uh, is impressive, and we really like all of the inside. That was kind of our favorite part of the build. And spin BB-8's head back around. Um, there are no custom elements to this build. Um, uh, at least we haven't found any. If, if you, yeah, um, if you. Recognize build Lego, on, Lego. on a regular basis like we do and you know any of the custom elements call them out in the comment thread but other than that this is just a fantastic build uh let's see how wide is bb8 it's 10 inches tall on the base uh, uh about five and a half six inches yeah about five and a half six inches wide um so from the base all the way out sitting on its its stand so let's talk about the stand i'll just move bb8 out of the way for this now bb8 will stand on its own watch it's it's our you know it's well enough to where it can sit on its own, but they give you the stand because it's a ball and it can roll off, and you don't want to 
have your investment go all but over. Here's simply what the stand is. It shows like the little information about BBA on what his model, uh, primary function, height, uh, height, <laughs> oh, uh, height, height, equipment, and like the primary sensor. But that's really it. Uh, it just shows you the information, and it has this little kind of like a a, like a, a claw. claw. Yeah. So it can easily just rest in there and has like smooth pieces so it doesn't clip down and they, they thought about some things to kind of make it cool so inside they've they've put kind of the grates in there to kind of give it more of a uh, you know star wars theme to it but that kind of cradles the um the bb-8 unit and it does come with the bb-8 minifig so you know this actually has a space right on the front specifically when you're building the it's, it's kind of hard to see in the light there it is right there so when you're building the base you put your minifig there and then you put your bb-8 unit just set it right on top, and it just it's a fantastic showcase piece. So, I don't know. I had a blast building it. It's yeah. one of my favorite builds so far. Um, thank you, for Lego, for actually yeah, for making this. this. Uh, I got it as a birthday gift from my family, and I just lost it when I seen it because this is one of the new uh, Lego builds that are out uh, for the Force, uh, excuse me, The Last Jedi. Um, I haven't seen it before this, so I'm assuming that it just came out for The Last Jedi and, and all of the box art. Go get the box art over there. Um, so the box art has has the the new Last Jedi logo on the top. So you know, I'm assuming. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, that this is new for uh, the Last Jedi. Uh, the box itself, great artwork on the box. I mean, check and look at that. I mean, that's just fantastic stuff it shows you kind of the articulation but you know that right there doesn't even do it justice the the head bobbling doesn't do it justice if you 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 just everybody as soon as we got this thing built <laughs> just, they were just keep on just, everybody just you plays with bb8's head and it just that's what it does it's satisfying you know that kind of stuff so um hope you liked it i mean we had a fun time building it um again took about three hours for both of us and involved building it three and, hours simply every Lego kit, extra pieces. Yeah, these are extra pieces. I don't. Yeah, we have extra pieces, and then our uh, piece that we removed. Yep. Kind of just these are just the back panel. Oh, uh oh, I just knocked the eight <laughs> off. Ha! All right. Yeah, the back panel. This is literally every piece that we removed. But cool. Besides that, extra pieces that comes with every Lego kit, and so does this, yeah, which the is brick removal. Big this thing helper. helped us during the mod, so much more than the Millennium Falcon. I'll yeah, say. exactly. <laughs> uh, so. Uh, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you like the the channel. Uh, this channel's kind of evolved from what it used to be to where it is yeah. now. But uh, you know, we're just having fun with the channel now. Just having a lot of great uh, time. Just spending time with family and inviting you in to to, to watch it as well. So, um, what do you think, BB Eight? Yeah, gave it a thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, subscribe, like, and uh, we'll see you on the next video. May the force be with you.